So, you want to know how to add different materials on different parts of your object? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm about to give you some lemonade. Hey guys, one by touch by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back once again taking a look at how to do what, exactly what I just said. Add different materials or textures or images to your, uh, to one object, different ones. So, let's go ahead. And I did a tutorial about this very recently, uh, but it was all just the same image or a same material or whatever, what have you. So, today we're doing a different one doing different materials on the same object let's go ahead and get started here i'm gonna go ahead and actually delete default cube and we'll hit shift a and we'll search for monkey put suzanne in here a little bit and so because she just just because she has like more vertices and more spaces to her i suppose so let's go ahead and i can uh, hit tab to go into edit mode here and you can see uh, it brings up all the vertices and all the stuff and whatnot so if i go to the material tab uh, and hit this drop down and select material this is the material that is assigned to suzanne now, if I go to face select mode here, you can see that I can uh, maybe if I hold down alt and shift and click, it selects an entire loop. Now, this loop is super small, so let's go ahead and see if we can find a different one. This loop right here. So this entire loop around her, like right above where her mustache would be if she had one. Um, you can see this is the whole loop. It goes all the way around. If we hold down alt and shift, um, you can see once again, if I get a different angle, hold alt and shift, it selects that, that section. That's what I want. So let's go ahead and, and it's the, it's all dependent on how your camera is set up. So if you, how you're moving your camera around. So if you hold down the middle mouse button, the uh, the scroll wheel, if you, if you click and hold the scroll wheel on your mouse button, you can uh, pan around and you can get a different view here. So hold down shift and alt and just select that loop right there by uh by clicking it now you can see that uh this is the whole loop now if we want to change this color like you know if you were to just, just to change suzanne's color you would go to material viewport and you would just hit base color and you just change it so it, it's all one color right so if you were to just move this around but let's say you want this little piece that we have selected to be a different color than let's say this blue piece that you have here so you have, want you want the all of her to be blue but you want to change this little loop so let's go ahead and hit this this plus button hit new and then we can go ahead and change this color to like a reddish color or something. And you can see this is not changing yet. And the reason is because we have to hit this assign button. So as soon as we hit assign, you can see that it def definitely changes to that red color, which is very nice. Where you're going, well, Kai, how does this apply to uh, images? It applies to images because if we go to, um, if we go to uh, uh, this base color and hit this little yellow circle, you can go to image texture. And then now we can go ahead and hit open. And then look for a, uh, a picture that we have. I'm in the wrong folder. <laughs> we can go ahead and look for a, a picture. I'm just going to grab this picture uh, right here. Now you can see that this picture of like a grassy field, you can see that it is now a part of that red border that we created with this material. Now, if we go to the blue material and do the same thing with the little uh, yellow, yellow uh, circle and image texture, you can see that if I were to go ahead and hit open, and select a different material, a different picture rather, you can see that, uh, I'm gonna open up uh, the, the Loki lighting video that we did here. Actually, I'm gonna pick a different uh, picture because that is like difficult to see the difference between. Um, we can go ahead and pick, let's just pick this picture. This is a, this is a tutorial that I did a little bit ago. Um, let's go ahead and you can see that now we have the picture of the redheaded woman on the, on the other parts of the Suzanne. And then on the little rim part, we have the grassy field which is very, very cool. So we can go ahead and move this around once again by opening our uh, window. So putting a cursor at the top left and change to, until it changes to a plus, click and drag until it opens the second window and then go to this uh, little bit here and then go down to blah, 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 UV editor. So if we go ahead and hit, hit this little drop down, we can select the uh, picture of the woman. If we hit tab, you can see this is uh, what if we, if we go to the correct material there we go so if we go ahead and open this up you can see that this is the little piece right here which is actually changing the field even though we're looking at the the picture of the woman because I have that selected so let's go actually let's go to the field uh, the screenshot let's go ahead and you can see now if I were to move this to move this up if I were to move this by hitting G after everything selected by double tapping a make sure everything's selected in orange then hit g to move it around you can see that it will move only the pieces that are assigned to it so now if i were to go ahead and go back to the monkey hit tab and then hold down uh hover my cursor over top of the eyeball and hit um oop, and hit l to select everything that the cursor is touching um and then hold down shift and then hit l again over here on this eyeball actually hit l just you don't have to hold shift uh, if you hit l again you can see that it's like both of the eyeballs now I can go ahead and go back to the screenshot down here 
by selecting material 001, which is our screenshot of this, uh, this game. You can go ahead and hit assign. Now, this is being controlled by this image as well. So now the eyeballs are separate than the other picture, which is very, very cool. So this is how you uh, create different uh, materials with different, uh, with different things. We can hit R to rotate this. There we go. Now it's upside down. We can rotate it again so it's right side up. There you go. Nice. Hit S to scale them down so you can see that we can actually see like the entire screenshot in the eyeballs, which is cool. It's like a reflection of someone's glasses or something. Very, very cool stuff. Um, but yeah, this is how you add different images. You can add as many images as you want to. So you can hit plus again, hit new, hit this little circle, go to image texture, uh, hit open, and then you can change it to a different uh, a, a different one again, again, again. So let's go ahead and actually just, uh, there's a lot of screen, I have a lot of screenshots right there. there. That's, my, that's my fault, you know what I'm saying? Um, we can go ahead and let me just pick one of the thumbnails actually we have right here. Um, we can just go ahead and open this up and then we hit assign while we have the eyeballs selected still. And now you can see that it is the uh, one of the thumbnails for the uh, particles video that I did a while back. You can see that we can just add multiple different images on this one uh, on this one monkey, which is very very cool. So I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.